order for the stack to increase. But even at a two stack, I've seen that she can get pretty pretty well utilized. This is her at a 10 stack, so you're not really gonna be seeing that too, too often. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. We're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Scott E. Brand new Valhalla Season 3 Hero. Wonder what the heck she does. What's going on? She's got 696 on her attack, 793 on her defense, and 1411 on her health. Overall, statistically pretty high on her defense as well as her health. And her attack leaves a little bit to be desired, that's for sure. She is running at average speed. She is part of the Valhalla Season 3 Heroes, which means that she does get a bonus. And her static bonus is all allies get an Ice Giant minion with 6%, 10%, 14% HP, and 10%, 12%, 16% attack inherited from the caster when a Jolt Hyam hero dies. So when a Season 3 hero dies, part of the Jolt Hyams they get a little extra bonus. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 50 gems, one energy refill, 100,000 silver, and one free champion, Executioner. All your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. She deals 170% damage to all enemies. The damage is increased by 70% per dead enemy. The stack. All enemies receive 30 frost damage per each killed enemy or enemy minion at the end of each turn. The maximum stack size is 10. And then it also has a stack that all enemies get minus 6% mana generation per each killed enemy or enemy minion. This maximum size of stack is 10. So I know it's a little bit complicated, but I do have a video for you to also kind of clear things up so you'll understand exactly what's going on with this hero. When we take a look at what she does, she is a monk hero, which means that she is fighting with a little bit of heroes, but overall you might have some monk emblems to go ahead and distribute to her. When we take a look at what she does against a titan, she's going to get a C grade there, mostly because you're not going to be dealing damage to kill any, any minions, you're not going to kill any heroes, you're not going to kill the titan, she's completely ineffective against titans, don't do that, the stack doesn't apply, it's not going to be a good, good idea, she's going to get a C grade there against titans. However, on offense, you can check out this video here. You can see that she pairs extremely well with a hero like Guarding Gazelle. Reason being what you want to do is you're going to want to have a hero like Teleria go off, a whole bunch of minions go off, and then when she stacks the damage from that, she's going to be dealing more than 170% damage to the enemies, which means that a ton of enemies are dead. So this stack, they already have a five stack on it. What's really cool is when she goes off and she kills the enemy minions, they never lose that stack. That stack stays until the until the rest of the game is going off. So you can see this gets up to a 10 stack, which is a ton of damage. And it's also giving them minus 6% on their mana generation. Overall, you can really utilize this hero to pair well with other heroes, such as Guardian Gazelle. I've also seen it to where uh, there's some defensive down that goes applied. And then she goes off. She kills a whole bunch of them. Now, what's important to notate is as soon as she goes off, the enemy minions have to die that turn or the enemies have to die that turn in order for the stack to increase but even at a two stack i've seen that she can get pretty pretty well utilized this is her at a 10 stack so you're not really going to be seeing that too too often you can't exploit her you can't do it and she's going to go ahead and annihilate the whole team if you do pair her correctly and do it and do it right so on offense she's going to get an a grade there i wish i could make that an a plus but the fact is is that you using her by herself you're not really going to be able to take advantage of the stack abilities on it. You really have to be smart and pair her with other heroes that give the increased attack up. So what I've also seen is people will pair her with Vila, and with Vila's just her water ability, 
uh, knocks all the minions down to where when she goes off, she will kill them. So that is a good way that you can pair her off. You want to make sure that all the minions get equally distributed damage, and then you can kill them all, or you utilize this method, which was using uh, Guardian Gazelle to just smash out everything, kill them all, and then it stacks, and then they're all dead. So I really like her. She's really, really, really cool on offense, really cool hero there. We take a look at what she does on defense. She's going to get a B plus as a tank, mostly because she has some very high defensive stats, but she's still wanting to utilize the, the minions. I can see that sometimes potentially you might have some minions go off and she could attack into them, but you could really kind of plan, plan some things around her. She does get a B plus grade there, but overall it's not really something you're going to want on defense as far as the tank goes. And when we look at her flank grade, again, she's got a B grade there, mostly because she does deal 155 damage to all enemies, but you're not going to be really exploiting that too much. There's too much conditions that have to go into place for really taking advantage of her. And uh, on the wing, again, a B grade, mostly because she hits all enemies at average speed. I'm not really stoked on her for defense. She's going to get a B grade there on defense. When we look at her rush attack raid for the weekly raids, she's going to get an A on rush attack. Mostly because you could set it up to where your other heroes are going to pair well. Like I said, you use Vila. If they have minions go off, especially with Teleria running wild. You don't care. You just smash through. You kill them, stack, everything lives. And then if you have other healers that just heal everybody, you could just kill everybody with the stack. When we look at her buff rate, she's going to get a B grade on buff attack. Mostly because she isn't impacting the board too much in terms of buff increasing, decreasing there. She does have the mana generation stuff that goes into play, but overall she's going to get a B grade. On Bloody Battle, she's going to get an A minus. Her ability herself, if you compare her with Guardian Gazelle, you're going to have a lot of fun. But unfortunately, she's in a position where she wants to heal a lot. That's why she's not getting a, an A grade. You want her to survive, you want her to live, and you have to kind of strategically place this out. This is a really, really fun hero. This is A minus grade overall. I did flex her in to give her the A- grade just because she is so cool on offense. Really fun hero to use, especially if you compare her with other heroes. I think that you would like her if you're into the kind of niche fun heroes. So thank you so much for checking out the grade. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys on the next one.